black man explains why wife won't let him out of the house unless he's wearing innocent clothing. There's nothing wrong with working out and trying to keep fit. It's absolutely normal to put on your gym clothes and go jog on the street alone, isn't it? Well, it appears that some people are viewed with suspicion when they do so, especially when they're black. Like Ahmaud Arbery, who was killed a couple months ago while he was out jogging. It seems that Arbery was chased down by two men who allegedly thought he matched the description of a suspect from some local break-ins and was then killed by them for no apparent reason. After the tragic incident, it was only normal that black joggers would be hesitant about returning on the street, practicing their favorite exercise for fear of being assaulted. One of these people is Augustus Turner, former EMT, licensed attorney, and active duty army officer for nine years. Turner just likes jogging, and he's been doing so alone for 10 years. During all this time, he's considered jogging to be a pretty safe kind of exercise, while his wife, Michelle, has always been more cautious. For nearly 10 years, Michelle Yeager Turner cautioned me about how I appear when I jog alone. She'll not even let me out of the house unless I wear enough colorful and innocent clothing so as to not appear suspicious or threatening when I jog, Turner wrote in a recent Facebook post. It seems that his wife has always considered his jogging alone could get him into trouble, only because of the color of his skin. And in light of the recent incident, she could be right. Turner wrote a post for Facebook the other day explaining that his appearance alone should not be enough for someone to accuse him of any crime or, even worse, kill him. The man admitted that his build and the fact that, as a soldier, he has to move from place to place every few years, thus not being a familiar face in the neighborhood where he jogs, could look threatening to some, but it shouldn't. I'm a good person. Why would someone shoot me just because I'm black and unfamiliar? The man goes on to refer to his studies and voluntary work he's done over the years in order to get where he is today. While he explains he's proud of having helped more than 60 sexual assault victims in his career, so far as an attorney, so apparently he is a good person, right? For those who only judge others by skin color, obviously not. They have no idea who this man is or what this man's story is, and they don't want to know, really. It seems the fact that he's black is the only thing they can see, and it's enough for them to hate him. If I frighten the wrong white person or match the description of a threatening person, I become no different than Ahmed Arbery, he went on to write. So when his wife asks him to wear colorful clothes that look as innocent as possible, unfortunately, she's right. This man and every other man like him shouldn't live with the fear of being assaulted. Racial hate and hate crime should not be a thing in modern societies. So let's hear this man out and think where we stand. Because we certainly don't need any more murders, and our world could use a little more tolerance and love. Please share this with your friends and family.